Okay, so let's make our first Windows console application in Visual Studio 2022. So let's go into Visual Studio, and I'm assuming that you already have it loaded. And uh, when you do so, when you click it, you'll get this interface. So let's click New Project. Just wait a minute. All right, so let's create console application. Uh, so hit console application, console app, and hit Next. Uh, okay, so here let's just call it, uh, this interface will come up and let's just call it for the project name. Uh, uh, first, uh, first program, you can call it whatever you want. And hit next. Okay, at this point here, we want the .NET 6. Mm -hmm. uh, if we set this to .NET 5, we will get the usual boilerplate uh, template which you usually get with 2019. And you see the namespace, the, the class name, and the static dot main uh, function. But with .NET, with the .NET 6, you will not see that, okay? But uh, don't worry about it, let's talk about it. Okay, so hit .NET 6, okay? And hit create. All right, so this is what you will see now. As you, uh, as I mentioned before, there is no, uh, none of the traditional stuff, the usual template stuff. Uh, you just get this screen here. Now this screen is tantamount to the actual static dot main entry function. Mm -hmm. uh, so what we can do here, we can just, uh, at this point we can just delete this. Mm -hmm. Well, first of all, if I keep this here, okay, uh, let me just delete this part. Okay. If I just keep this here and run this, okay, I click this and run it. All right, we'll see hello world is printed to the console. Now, you notice in the past you used to put a, a console.read line here to prevent this from uh, uh, closing, but now you don't have to do that anymore. All right, so now we have this. Okay, Now, it's implied that, uh, as you can see, if I click here, okay, it's called program. So uh, in, tr in the past, when you opened up a dot a uh, console application, you would see program. Okay? It would say it would you'd see the namespace, the uh, class pr program, and the static main entry. So now it's uh, it's actually implied that it's all here. Right? So now let's create a class. Okay? Uh, the thing is, you won't be able to create uh, classes and methods here. Okay, you have to create a a separate class. So let's click here, my first program, okay, right click, and let's click uh, add, where is it? Um, okay, add, and we're going to add a class here. And let's just call this, uh, let's just call this rectangle. Okay. All right, so now, okay, we have the program main, mm -hmm. And we have this new class that we just created. So let's just see how this is going to work. Let's create some uh, private member variables. Okay? Let's say private uh, int length. Mm -hmm. And you notice the IntelliSense, this IntelliSense is pretty handy. Right? Uh, it's going to intuit what's going to be the next uh, declaration variable. It's not always right, but a lot of times it is. So here we want the private int space uh, with right, all right so now we want to create some uh public accessor uh values here so we can do this you can double click here right click and go quick action refactoring okay? and just click encapsulate and use mm -hmm. and so now it creates the automatic it creates the public uh, member variables okay? and see when i click entered it automatically intuited that it's uh, to create a width. Okay, so here it's created the length uh, public accessor. And now it's creating the it's suggesting to create the it's suggesting to create the width. So all that I have to do is push the tab. Okay? So now I've got everything. Uh, so now I can access this and this from my program. So all I have to do is go here, and I have to create an instance of that class. 
uh, sorry, uh, before I do that, oh, my mistake, okay? So before I do that, uh, I have to go back into rectangle here and get the namespace, okay? So the namespace is called first program. Mm -hmm. Then I go back into my program class here and I'm going to say uh, using, okay, first program, right? Now, now that I have included that, uh, the using statement here, uh, let me just get rid of this. Mm -hmm. Uh, I can make an instance of that particular uh, class. So the class was called rectangle. Okay, so here it's called rectangle. So I can go rectangle, let's say rect equals new rectangle. Again, I'm pushing tab. Right, so now if I set rect dot width, okay, see I can get the public variables, okay, and width, width, width and length. Uh, so I have to put tab twice to, tab twice to accept it, but I'm not going to do that. Uh, I'm just going to undo this. Okay, I just delete that. Right. Now let's just create a uh, let's create a function to calculate the the area of this rectangle. So let's just create public okay int uh, area. Let's just say area. Open close parentheses. And I'm gonna okay. All right, so I'm going to hit the return, and you see automatically it uh, makes this suggestion that maybe I can use the return and the length. I'm gonna hit tab, okay. But I'm also gonna hit. Uh, I'm gonna add the multiply by the width. See, it automatically makes that suggestion for me. I'm gonna hit tab, right? And I've got the length and the width, right? I'm gonna calculate the area. So now I go back here. And I can say rect dot length equals okay, equals I know two. Okay, I'm gonna say rect dot width equals let's say five. Now I'm going to CW and press enter. Okay, that'll give me the console right line. I'm gonna say the uh, total area is, and I'm just gonna say. Uh, Rect dot. Uh, where is the area? Okay, so here's the area. Right. Uh, parentheses. Okay. So it should. Okay. When I build this, okay, it should multiply two by five, and I should get ten here. Okay, so the total area is ten. So I'm just going to click that. Mm -hmm. So yeah, okay, great. I got the total area is ten. So if I want to, if I want to make a constructor, I can do that too. Okay, so I can say uh, public rectangle. I'm gonna add some values here. Let's see. <coughs> L and int. Sorry, length int w. All right now, watch what's gonna happen here. Okay, uh, if I press. Sorry. If I open that parentheses, okay, open the curly brace, it automatically, once again, it makes the suggestion. It's going to say, okay, I want length here, okay, I want this private length to be allocated to this value here. Okay. Now I can hit tab, okay, and I hit enter, return, and see it automatically gives me the next one, okay, and I hit tab, okay, and, uh, and that's it. So I can go back into my program here, okay? So now at this point, okay, it's going to want a couple of values here, okay? So let's just say, uh, let's say two and two, okay? And I'm gonna take this, and I'm gonna copy this, cut it, and I'm gonna put it down here. And I'm gonna take this one here, and I'm gonna copy this one, I'm gonna put this one down here. Okay, so the total area from the, uh, Okay, so the total area from the constructor, okay, from the constructor. Okay. So I'm just, just a, this, is, this is just a point of reference, okay? So uh, here it's going to, the output here is going to be from the constructor values here. Right? 
and the output here will be from the public uh, public member values. So if I hit build, right? So four and ten, right? So here two times two is four. Here two times five is ten, right? So that's pretty much it. Mm -hmm. So the the important thing is that you uh, create a class, mm -hmm. and then you use the using uh, statement and access the namespace here. So the namespace is going to be here. Okay, so you've got to include that in, or else you will not be able to access, make an instance of the class. Okay, bye.